different species of catfish that we find here. We find a number of carp species as well, and even a psyllid or two. But that is definitely a catfish. And now we will watch a live kill and devouring of one of the most whiskered creatures of the depths. Of course, this can be a fairly painful process because it takes a long time, A, for the feet to die, although this one looks fairly expired already, but also for the bird to crush up the bones a little bit and break up the scales a little so that by the time it does eventually try to send it down its gullet, it isn't quite so difficult to swallow. Also, of course, you'll notice that it is trying to get the thing head first into its mouth and that's very important because to try and put it in tail first would result in getting stuck because of the way the scales are attached to the feet. How wonderful. That's really very special. As we're watching this, let's see how long it takes for him to eat. I'll just zoom out a bit, give you a bit of movement. Hope the camera doesn't take on a mind of its own. You can see the two sacred ibis there, not particularly interested or impressed with the fact that their yellow-billed stalked friend has managed to catch a feech. I don't know why I'm saying feech and not fish. It's just I am a bit odd, I suppose. That's fantastic. It really is very nice indeed. It, like I say, it is a slightly painful process. It takes for ages to go down. Stevie, you say this fish is pretty big. It's taking ages. Um, Stevie, it is pretty big. It's not very big, though. I mean, they do get a lot bigger than that. Yeah, they get huge. And that one is, uh, well, that's just a little, that's a bit of a tiddler, actually. I've seen a catfish that is over six feet tall. Oh, down it goes. How delicious. Mmm. That's interesting. PT Watcher, you say, would the catfish sting the stork in the same way that it stings you when you catch one? PT, I've never heard of a catfish stinging anyone before. I've been touched by them many times. I've yet to catch one. I can't believe this thing can possibly eat another one. So I don't know. I mean, I've never heard of a catfish stinging before. I'd really be very interested to hear how or why or when you have been stung by a catfish. I mean, if I thought I was going to be stung by one, I would never have gone to try and catch them last year when I did. Very interesting. Thank you for that information. And I wonder how often it happens. And perhaps, I mean, look, you get lots of different species of catfish, of course, so perhaps not all of them are nasty biters. Or stingers, should I say. All right, let's go from one flowing water body to one fairly stationary one at Chitwa Chitwa.